the poem says i am with you always 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 we are with you with you with you always always it's a reassuring poem it, it can be attributed to an elder a singular ancestor to yourself you're never alone no one is ever alone like there are ever present forces and beings that will always be with you My name is Destiny Belgrave. I am a mixed media artist, primarily working with paper cuts, satin material, and digital processes. My project focuses on ancestry through a spiritual and dreamy lens. It's a body of work that's mostly guided by intuition. I'm using satin because I view it as a quintessential fabric that is of black sleep and black slumber. I feel like satin is very important in the process of when black people go to sleep and rest. For a lot of artists who aren't making politically charged work, especially black artists, your art can often just be shoved into this box or put in this narrative when in actuality you were just trying to make work that makes people feel things that pays homage to how you were raised and the people that you loved but you know of course as a black artist once there's a black figure in the work blackness just becomes politically charged and it's unfortunate collards for me remind me of maternity and my matriarchal lineage they remind me of my mother she cooks them on special occasions or on certain sunday dinners and it's also like a very important leaf in like African-American cuisine, specifically like soul food. For some of the ancestors that I have in the work, I didn't want them to have faces because I didn't want them to be sort of held down by this idea of who it may look like or who it may be. I just want them to exist as an ancestor, uncontained and be that freely. I know that I'm using like a blue hand a lot. I first used this blue hand in an earlier piece called Post Baptismal Ritual in which I recreated a memory that my mom told me about, about how her mother would stretch me after my baths. And so I made a piece about that and in that piece I made her hands blue. I use as a symbolism for her and her hands and sort of like her energy. Fire for me, depending on how I'm using it within the work, has different meanings. So when the collard green is burning, like if I have a collard green burning, that represents sort of like cleansing. You know, some people cleanse with sage. The collard leaf burning for me is like cleansing with this matriarchal leaf and releasing and like matriarchal energy into the space and cleansing the space. Before I make certain pieces, I it's kind of like a daydream. And so I often envision these, these figures, these narratives in my mind. Like I'm obviously showing you what the work is about and I'm giving you the content and the concept, but I also want to leave a little bit of room for anyone and everyone to grasp something personal for themselves and to look at the work and feel something and gain something from it and feel that sense of warmth no matter who or what they aspire to be.